Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let us begin our Eucharistic celebration. Wait for the Lord, be strong, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us be sorry for our sins. And let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Numbers. From Mount Or, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. 
In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Sarap serpents, which beat the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a sarap and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being beaten will leave. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole, and whenever anyone who had been beaten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The nations sh shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer, O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Ang butil na ipinuna ay ang banal na salita. Pagkasik ay ginawa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to, the, to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below, I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone because I always do what is pleasing to him. 
Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today both talk about lifting up. In our first reading, God instructed Moses to make a bronze serpent and mount it on a pole. And everyone who looks at this culture will be healed. And in the Gospel, Jesus said, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am. He was referring to the crucifixion when he will be lifted up on the cross. Jesus lifted on the cross is like the bronze serpent during the time of Moses. Those who looked on the bronze serpent were healed. But in Jesus, those who look on him in faith will be saved, will have new life. My dear brothers and sisters, it is the mission of every Christian to lift Jesus high. It is the mission of each one of us to lift Jesus high. Tungkulin at misyon ng bawat mabuting Kristiyano na itaas, idangal, at itanghal si Jesus. Let us lift Jesus up by witnessing to Him through our words and through our deeds. Sa pamamagitan ng ating mga salita at ng ating mga gawang mabubuti, itinatanghal natin si Jesus. Let us lift Jesus up by proclaiming and living out our faith sa ating pagsisikap na isabuhay ang ating pananampalataya, itinatanghal at itinataas natin si Jesus. Let us lift Jesus up by being proud of our faith. Ipagmalaki natin ang ating pananampalataya. Huwag natin ikahiya na tayo'y mga Kristiyano. Ipagtanggol natin ang ating pananampalataya at kapag ginawa natin yan, itinatanghal natin si Jesus. Let us lift Jesus up by proclaiming to the whole world that our faith is essential, that we need our faith in Jesus in order to survive all the ordeals of this pandemic. We need to lift Jesus high because Jesus alone could give us hope, healing, salvation, and new life. My dear brothers and sisters, what are we lifting up in our lives? Ano ba yung itinataas natin sa ating buhay? Ano ba yung ipinagmamalaki natin sa ating buhay? Ano ba yung itinatanghal natin na mahalaga sa ating buhay? Sana ang palagi nating itinatanghal ay si Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, let us not be ashamed of Jesus. Huwag nating ikahiya si Jesus. Huwag nating itago ang ating pagiging Kristiyano. Let us be proud of our faith. Let us be proud that we believe in Jesus. And let us always hold Jesus up for all the world to see. Let us lift up Jesus and let us look on Him 
because by looking on Him with faith, He will surely give us salvation, healing, and new life. Let your life be a constant lifting up of Jesus. In faith, let us pray to the Father, who through the sufferings of His Son has saved us from all condemnation. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that God's people may succeed in spreading the good news of salvation to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that a growing number of people may accept Jesus as their Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that those who are earnestly searching for the truth may find Jesus, who is the light shining in the darkness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that those who are suffering from pain, anxiety, fear, and loneliness may see the light of Christ shining over them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that perpetual light may shine upon the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Father in heaven, source of all blessing, grant that the blood shed by your Son may gain an increasing number of adherents to the faith, so that they may make his sacrifice fruitful for humankind. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received the heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he decided to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sinned against us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. O God, who chose, who chose to show mercy, not, not anger, to those who hope in you, grant that your faithful may weep as they should for the evil they have done, and so merit the grace of your consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Five hundred years of faith, grateful today.